<laughs> Hollywood, when I got Hollywood, I flew you out the next day and you said, I said, I want to dress my age. Hollywood said, um, Uncle Shay, you call me Uncle Shay from day one. You said, what else you need from me? I said, I need loyalty and I need honesty. He said, Uncle Shay, I'm going to ride with you till the wheels fall off. And when the wheels fall off, I'm going to get out and walk with you. Comedian Cat Williams has exposed Shannon Sharp Liv, igniting a firestorm of controversy. Known for his sharp wit and unfiltered commentary, Williams has once again set social media ablaze by calling out Sharp. His explosive claim that Sharp is a fraud has left fans and commentators in shock, eager to understand the background and implications of this bold accusation. According to reports, Williams did not hold back when discussing Sharp. Visibly agitated, he went on a lengthy rant detailing why he believes Sharp is not the man he appears to be. Williams elaborated on his accusations, claiming that Sharp's on-screen persona as a knowledgeable and articulate sports analyst is a carefully crafted facade. He accused Sharp of being disingenuous in his opinions and criticized his approach to discussing athletes in sports events. Williams also shared personal grievances with Sharp, hinting at past encounters that left a bad impression. Although he didn't provide specific details, Williams suggested that Sharp has a history of disrespectful behavior off-camera. The response to these accusations has been swift and polarized. Some fans of the comedian praised him for his honesty and boldness in speaking out against a prominent figure like Sharp. Others, however, criticized Williams for what they see as an unnecessary and unfounded attack. Social media has been flooded with comments, memes, and discussions dissecting Williams' statements. Sports analysts and commentators have also weighed in, with some defending Sharp's credentials and integrity, while others suggested there might be some truth to Williams' claims. If you thought Sharp and Williams became instant best friends after their interview, think again. Not only are they not close, but they are currently embroiled in a public feud. The drama began when Sharp accused Williams of damaging his career, claiming that Williams' appearance on his show scared off reputable guests who no longer want to participate. However, it's clear that Williams is not someone to be taken lightly, and Sharp is finding that out the hard way. Williams has since revealed damaging information about Sharp, portraying him as a fraud. There are even accusations that Sharp coerces his guests into lying. It's been nearly two months since Williams dropped his sensational interview, but it remains one of the industry's hottest topics. The video has amassed over 70 million views on YouTube, proving it to be an undeniable hit. Despite the passage of time, fans are still buzzing about the drama, and Williams continues to face criticism from all sides, including from fellow comedians and entertainers. Sharp has even blamed Williams for the chaos, claiming that Williams has ruined his life and career, making it difficult to attract reputable guests to his show. But if you know Williams, you know he isn't one to let his name get dragged through the mud. He is fighting back against Sharp with full force, and the feud has only escalated since the podcast aired, spilling serious secrets about celebrities, particularly other comedians, and shaking up the entertainment world. It felt like Cat Williams was airing dirty laundry and creating tension among his fellow black comedians, ruffling feathers in a way that wasn't well received. Cat didn't hold back when criticizing other comedians, and many felt he was giving off serious hater vibes, especially given that his own career has faced challenges recently. Some speculated that his harshness stemmed from jealousy and bitterness. One of the first celebrities to face the heat was Cedric the Entertainer, who was accused of borrowing jokes from other comedians and presenting them as his own. Cat labeled Cedric a fraud for allegedly relying on others or outright stealing material. Understandably, Cedric wasn't pleased with the public criticism. He took to Instagram to express his frustration, stating that history is shaped by actions, not opinions. Cedric emphasized that his career couldn't be reduced to a single joke, mentioning his body of work, including over 40 movies, numerous specials, and successful brands that define his legacy. He also pointed out that he had helped many people in the industry, including Cat, referencing an event at the Gibson Amphitheater. Cedric dismissed Cat's accusations, saying, All that tough talk is just nonsense. I'm an adult. You do you, and I'll handle my business. But Cedric wasn't the only one to respond. Kevin Hart also chimed in, throwing serious shade on social media. He called Cat a clown who belonged in a circus. It stung, but many felt Kevin's reaction was justified. 
After all, Cap didn't hold back either, accusing Kevin of being a fraud who steals jokes and claiming Kevin's entire persona was an illusion. He suggested Kevin projects the image of a hugely successful superstar, but it's all a deceptive act. Kat's jabs at Kevin weren't entirely unexpected. Their feud has been simmering for a long time. It began when Kat started speaking out about being sidelined by the industry for speaking his truth. He criticized the powers that be for not appreciating his honesty, claiming he had been blacklisted. This seemed to irk Kevin Hart, who responded on The Breakfast Club, claiming Kat's blacklisting was due to his addiction and difficult behavior on set. Cat's dishing out dirt during the Club Shay Shay episode appeared to be retaliation for Kevin's comments. Kevin didn't stay silent, firing back and branding Cat a clown more suited for a circus. The exchange between Cat and the comedians he singled out resembled a fierce verbal battle, with insults volleying back and forth. But there was a twist. While Cat endured relentless criticism, Shannon Sharp, his companion during the interview, stayed quiet. He observed as Kat took the heat but didn't offer any defense or step in to silence the critics. As the old saying goes, what goes around comes around, and now Shannon is learning that firsthand as those who once had much to say are staying silent in his moment of controversy. The tables have turned and now Shannon Sharp is the one being roasted. He's caught in a whirlwind of criticism, fighting hard to defend himself, but he's not coming out on top. Remember when Cat Williams was under fire after his interview? Fast forward, and now Shannon is feeling the heat. It all started after his interview with Monique, where she openly criticized Tyler Perry, Oprah, and even her own son. This sparked a backlash against Shannon, with many accusing him of stirring up unnecessary drama among comedians. His show has become a platform for comedians to throw shade at each other, often without the target being present to defend themselves, creating a chaotic environment. Dave Chappell also took shots at both Shannon and Kat in his routine, questioning their actions with, what part of the game is this? Chappell didn't hold back, highlighting the stark contrast in how black and white performers are treated. He praised Kat's talent but wondered why he resorted to damaging his own community. Chappell acknowledged the cycle of pain but refused to contribute to it, in contrast to those who seemed to thrive on causing harm. He even accused some of sabotaging the careers of fellow black artists, adding, if I told my story, it would break your heart. I lost everything and never told anyone. His critique opened up a larger conversation, with many questioning Shannon's role in the drama. Speculation began to swirl about whether Shannon intentionally provoked conflicts by inviting controversial comedians to air their grievances. His interviews with Kat and Monique quickly went viral, becoming his most watched episodes. Drama, controversy, and scandalous allegations certainly grabbed attention. However, not everyone applauded. D.L. Hewley expressed his discontent, accusing Shannon of fostering chaos and giving a platform to guests who spread falsehoods and fabrications. Tensions escalated when Mike Epps took shots at Shannon during a comedy performance, claiming Shannon persistently invited him to Club Shay Shay, which he declined, suspecting Shannon had ulterior motives. Shannon didn't let it slide, accusing Mike of trying to gain attention by piggybacking on his success. Shannon denied ever contacting Mike, claiming it was actually Mike who was eager to be on the show. The situation took a surprising twist when Mike went live, admitting his deception and confessing that he was the one who reached out to Shannon, not the other way around. Just when the chaos seemed to settle, Mike hinted at an even more drastic escalation, suggesting the conflict might turn violent, skipping further verbal confrontation altogether. The ominous suggestion left everyone on edge. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, I know Shay Shay. I don't know what's wrong. I ain't got a name that Shay Shay, but I know this grown man is not mad at me. So many people talk crazy about you. They was on Saturday Night Live talking about you, imitating you, but now you want to fight me? Now, I'm not going to lie. I did DM you to get on the show. But I DM'd you to get on the show because you brought my name up when you were sitting there with Cat. He was trying to get him to talk crazy about me, but he didn't. Okay? Now... Second of all, talking about pulling up on me. You're going to be an all-star. I'm going to be a doll star in my hometown. 
and I'ma see you. Shannon Sharp didn't take the accusations lightly and quickly hit back with a live stream, calling out Mike Epps for his envy and jealousy. It was clear that Mike wasn't looking for a direct confrontation, after all, Shannon's built like a brick house thanks to his NFL career. Unsurprisingly, Mike backed down almost immediately. But the story didn't stop there. Mays and Cameron jumped into the mix, playfully teasing Shannon for even considering a physical altercation at his age, only adding fuel to the fire. Things escalated when Shannon, already feeling the pressure, lashed out at Mays. However, Mays didn't back down, accusing Shannon of harboring anti-black sentiments. He pointed out a shift in Shannon's behavior, noting that while Shannon is outspoken on issues within the black community, he tends to remain quiet when it comes to white individuals. Mays had a point. Shannon seems to handle situations involving white people with more caution and diplomacy. Even Dave Chappelle weighed in, commenting on how both Cat Williams and Shannon seem to focus their criticism on black artists while often overlooking the actions of their white counterparts. Unfortunately, today, no, you were that phone. I did not know, know you Cole's man. I'm a star. <laughs> All these comedian niggas have been in that bitch. And, and I, don't, I don't know where Cam is, but that point is always there. <laughs> Dave Chappelle accused Shannon Sharp and Cat Williams of unfairly targeting their own community. In a classic Shannon move, he shifted the blame, accusing Cat of being the mastermind behind the chaotic interview. Shannon explained that he was simply following Cat's lead, asking follow up questions based on Cat's statements. He feels it's unfair that he's facing most of the backlash for what he views as doing his job as an interviewer. According to Shannon, he didn't pressure Kat into revealing anything or manipulate the conversation. If anyone should be held accountable, it's Kat. A source close to the situation revealed that Shannon is frustrated with Kat's recent actions, believing they've tarnished the reputation of Club Shay Shay. Instead of being recognized as a serious platform, Shannon feels the show is now viewed as a circus, with future guest appearances in Geoparty. He places the blame squarely on Cat. However, Cat, known for his blunt nature, didn't take Shannon's criticism lightly. He fired back, accusing Shannon of deflecting blame and calling him a fraud. An insider reported that Cat refuses to back down from his part in the controversy, standing by his words without regret. While acknowledging his role, Cat finds it unfair for Shannon to place all the blame on him, labeling Shannon as a coward unwilling to face the situation. Opinions vary on the issue. Some believe powerful forces are displeased with Shannon for allowing Cat and Monique to disrupt the usual order, with some pushing for Club Shay Shay to be canceled because it has revealed too much truth, despite its rising ratings. Meanwhile, other podcasters and broadcasters, unable to match Shannon's success, have resorted to criticizing the show. Shannon Sharp's platform has managed to challenge the stereotype that women gossip more, with Shannon proving to be a master at stirring the pot. Now, he's venturing into risky territory by accusing Cat of derailing his career. Cat Williams, known for his stand-up comedy and roles in film and TV, has a reputation for being brutally honest and unafraid to call out hypocrisy. His career has been marked by high-profile feuds and controversial statements, often directed at other celebrities. Cat's criticism of Shannon is part of his ongoing mission to challenge inauthenticity in entertainment and sports. By calling Shannon a fraud, Cat positions himself as a truth-teller, exposing what he sees as the gap between public personas and private realities. The implications are significant. If there's any truth to Kat's claim that Shannon's on-air persona isn't genuine, it could damage Shannon's credibility as a commentator and analyst. For fans, the authenticity of media personalities is vital, and any suggestion that it's compromised could lead to disillusionment and a loss of trust. Furthermore, Kat's personal grievances add another layer to the controversy. He describes Shannon as arrogant and dismissive, which contrasts with the down-to-earth image many viewers have of him. Shannon has not yet responded publicly to Kat's accusations, leading to speculation. Some believe Shannon may be considering legal action, while others think he's choosing to stay above the fray. 
This incident is the latest in a string of public feuds involving Cat Williams, who has a history of making bold and controversial statements about fellow celebrities. Whether this latest accusation will affect Shannon Sharp's career or reputation remains to be seen. Cat's public attack adds another layer of drama to the world of entertainment and sports commentary. Whether there's any merit to Cat's claims is something only time will tell, but this situation highlights the often complex and contentious relationships behind the scenes in the entertainment industry. In the end, the entertainment industry is a complicated web of relationships, power dynamics, and secrets. Celebrities often find themselves at the center of speculation and controversy, but it's important to remember that there are multiple sides to every story, and the truth usually lies somewhere in between.